Hello again. Some of you have already met Yue, the blue and white standard poodle. She's five years old and has been in the program for four years. And this is Iro, her son, who's been in the program for two years. Yes, I, I mean, pardon me, he's a two-year-old and he's been in the program for about a year. And I said his name, so he automatically bounced up. Iro has a human named Joanne. But Iroh is visiting his mom right now. So Iroh is going to lay down. Now, UA is already tested for the Pause for Stories program, and she loves having stories read to her. And we're trying to teach Iroh how to read books as well. So Iroh, this is your, uh, this story is for you. And this one is called, If You... <laughs> yes, I love you too. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joff Numeroth, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie... There's a teeny tiny little mouse there. Oh, and that's our birds downstairs saying that they want to be in on story time too. There's only so many we can get in, so many critters we can get in the shot here. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the oh, yes. then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll a probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he will want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might even get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Oh, I think I'm going to give mice cookies from now on if they're going to sweep my house for me. <laughs> oh, I'll give you one too. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in and make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Yeah, you like stories. Good boy. So you'll read to him from one of your books. He'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited He'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for papers and crayons. Oh yes, yes, did you see the picture? He'll draw a picture. Yue, there's plenty of room on the couch. Oh dear, she likes her story time. Okay, we'll read another story with you later, Yue. So Iroh, look. Let's see. When he finishes, oh, pardon me, when the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. He's actually a very talented mouse artist. Hey Iroh, you liking the stories? Yeah? With a pen. He'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means He'll need scotch tape. He'll hang his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator re will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk and chances are if he asks for a glass of milk, what are the chances I need? <laughs> he 
he's going to want a cookie to go with it. Oh, is that a good story, Iro? Did you like that story? Oh, you're sleepy. Yeah, we got to start reading you those sleepy bedtime stories. Yeah. He's a good boy. Well, you did very well for your first little story, Iro. Yes, you did. I bet Joanne's going to be very happy with you. And you, eh? You, eh? Yeah, somebody's upset that she didn't get a story read to her personally, so we'll have to do another story time later. All right, goodbye for now. Oh, hi, you, eh? Oh, if you want the story read to you now? Well, the story's all over. The story's all over, you silly dog. Yes. Yeah.